Hey guys, so today I have the very best of 2014, at least for the face. Um, I was originally planning on doing this all together, but because I have so many face products, because face products are like my passion and my favorite to try, um, I'm going to end up doing the eyes and lips separately so it's not crazy long. <clears throat> So, with all that said, let's jump right in. So, first of all, something I discovered thanks to uh, Melanie or Mr. Kong's mom here on YouTube um, back in June. I started doing this when I really need my makeup to last all day. Um, I use Milk of Magnesia on my face. Um, I use it before primer and it just really helps mattify things and control oil all day. And this is fantastic, especially in the summer. So I definitely recommend it if you have super oily skin like me. Then after makeup, um, Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. I use this every day after makeup. Um, it just really helps take away that kind of really powdery look and set everything and may help it last all day. So definitely recommend the Scandinavia. Um, you get more for your money than like the Urban Decay ones. and. Um, I like to order when they had 20% off, free shipping, and free samples too. So that is a fantastic setting spray. From primers, two that I really loved a lot throughout the year were the Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. Um, it is a really great primer and helps has tint to it, so it helps even out skin tone, helps mattify, smooth everything, help it last all day. This is one I kind of got away from recently and then just started using it again. Um, Again, because of Melanie, um, this is a really great primer. It's a little more pricey, but I got mine on Amazon, um, and I'll probably end up getting another one when it's on sale or I have a coupon for Ulta. And then also the Mac Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base this is another one I got away from, but started using again recently. Um, this is a great primer. Um, it's not the most mattifying, but it is a really great one and helps brighten and also does help your makeup last better throughout the day. So that's another great one. It comes with a nice amount of product too, 1.7 ounces. And this one has 1.7 ounces also. I like when there's more than just like one ounce in there. And then something I also fell in love with about halfway through the year um, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. <sighs> this stuff is amazing. I've talked about it before. Um, I just absolutely love it. It helps cover some of the redness so I don't need as much foundation. And I still use it basically every day. And I'm on my second one. Then for foundations. Um, again, foundations are something that I love to try. One that I've talked about plenty before, CoverGirl Outlast. Um, this is a really great drugstore foundation for oily skin. Um, one I used a lot was 825, and then in the summer when I was self-tanning, self um, 842 medium beige. So yeah, I have like four bottles of this in different colors. It's just a fantastic, super affordable foundation. <clears throat> And then um, something I just love to always have on hand, and I go back to it now and then, Shuei Matte Moisture Tint. Again, this is pricey, but um, I'm still on my first two tubes that I got last year. Um, and No, it's not expired yet. Um, this is just awesome. If I'm having a dry skin day, I can add a little bit before foundation to help even things out and um, give some more moisture or I can use this all over as my foundation and it's super lightweight. Lasts really well throughout the day. It's just awesome stuff. Um, I have the shade Linen and then also Nude for when I'm self tanning and it's just, this is just amazing. Seriously, if you can, I would highly recommend trying this. It's awesome. Okay, I need to hurry up. Um, another standout throughout the year, um, I especially loved the darker shade that I had this when I was self-tanning. Um, 
Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This one's a tiny bit light. It is light beige, um, but this was just a standout throughout a lot of the year, and it's a really great full coverage foundation. And then Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. Again, very, very pricey. This is one I loved in the summer, and this shade I absolutely can't use right now either, but I think it'll be too matte in the winter anyway. But this is a fantastic one. If you can try it and you have oily skin, I'd recommend it. Um, but yeah. If you can't, there are obviously great drugstore options, but it is a really great one. <clears throat> and then, this is not actual makeup, obviously, but almost every single foundation I ever use, I use my beauty blender to apply it. It's just amazing. Blends everything so well, um, adds a little bit of moisture back into your skin at the same time. Um, the only foundation that I did not use it with was the Hourglass. Um, this one worked really well with a brush, but for everything else, Beauty Blender. Try it, seriously. Don't get the fake ones. The real one is seriously so much better. Just try it. I get mine from makeupbeak.com because they're the cheapest on there. It's a good deal for the set of two. And then concealer, the one I always, always use, MAC Pro Longwear. Um, even if I use like a different concealer um, to spot cover or anything, I always use MAC Pro Longwear under the eyes. I did try the Maybelline Fit Me under the eyes and that worked well too. Um, that's a great affordable option, but seriously this will last you forever and um it's just the most amazing concealer ever and it's so multi-purpose as well i use it to prime my eyes and everything and it's just awesome and i use the shade nw20 then for setting under eyes i always use my mac prep and prime powder this is the cc version in adjust and something I recommend doing is not uncovering um, all of the holes when you first get it. This time I actually only took off about a third, uncovered like three holes and it's plenty. Like there's some falling out right now. Um, but this is just an amazing powder if you have super oily skin and large pores like I do. And I like the shade Adjust. See I just pulled down my desk. Um, I like the shade Adjust because it really helps kind of even things out a little bit more and brighten as well. Um, whenever I run out, I'm always back and forth between getting the transparent one, which I also love, or the adjust, but I went ahead and got this one again. I would like to, at one point, have both of them on hand, but I haven't yet. But that is just a fantastic one. The loose version comes with more product than the pressed. Um, I do like to have the press on hand for travel, but this, the loose, is just... A lot. I found it smooths and mattifies a lot better. <clears throat> and then, also for under eyes, um, I like as my one of my last steps. I like to brighten a little bit more with. Um, at the beginning of the year, I loved NYX Radiant Finishing Powder. Again, I just went back to this because I remembered how much I loved it before I got my Mac Shaping Powder and Emphasize, which I also absolutely love. But this is a great um, drugstore option. Um, it's just awesome to really help brighten. And then if you want to use as a highlight, you can just go in with your finger, this light shimmery shade, and put that like where you would highlight. And then, yeah, so you're all set right there for brightening and highlight. And it's just an awesome drugstore powder. And like I said, I also love MAC Shaping Powder, which you can only get, you can get online from MAC in their pro section on there, and it only comes in the pan like this. But I absolutely love that. And then for other face powders, one drugstore uh, powder that's really great is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. Right now I keep this in my purse for touch-ups. And also keep in my purse the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. As you can see, I've used it. Well, I've had this a long time, but this has some left around the edges. I use that for touch-ups with a large concealer brush, and it's just fantastic. 
and then um, cover effects powder foundation like I've said before I absolutely love this for setting and adding a little bit more coverage it's just great really great <clears throat> and then the MAC prep and prime pressed transparent powder again in the summer I like to keep this one in my purse because it's just not gonna make it look cakey or anything and it's just a fantastic super finely milled it's not gonna make your face look white don't get scared by that it's just an awesome setting powder. I just can't say enough good about the MAC Prep and Prime powders. I love them so much. And then bronzers. Um, I have a couple. Towards the beginning of the year, I really loved my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Foundation. Bronzer. <laughs> the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. The matte one. Um, I did use this a ton and I loved it. This is a great one for almost all skin tones. And then uh, another one I loved toward the beginning of the year was Bahama Mama. I haven't used that one as much but it is a really great one. And then It Cosmetics Matte Bronzer. Uses this one like crazy as you can see because I just got it in June. But yeah this little one's a little bit more warm. A little more red to it used it like crazy absolutely love that one um and then another one i used a lot in the summer cover effects sunset i love cover effects and the cosmetics they have better ingredients they're not gonna make you break out and they have all kinds of good stuff so love this one too and then maybelline dream sun bronzing powder i think this might have been limited edition i got it a while back this is like the bronzer that never ends. Um, for not being very big, this lasts me forever. But I just use it to bronze up my neck a little bit with a big fluffy brush. I've been doing that pretty much all year. And it's still going strong. So, <clears throat> blushes. I've never been a ginormous blush junkie. But, you know, still I love to try new ones now and then. Um, Tarte. Amazonian clay blushes last so well on the cheeks and gone super smooth and pigmented. This is the first one I ever got in Exposed and obviously I used it a ton. Love Tarte blushes. They're just awesome. And the only MAC blush I have, which I also did love a lot earlier in the year, is Well Dressed. I did get this up on my CCO. It's a really pretty light pink with a tiniest bit of shimmer because of satin. And then one that I'm wearing today and did love a lot earlier in the year, um, the Balm Down Boy. It's just a beautiful light pink, no shimmer at all, which is what I prefer. And I just love it. It's just the perfect light pink. So that is an awesome blush. And then Amazing Cosmetics Pink Chocolate. As you know, if you watch me... In the summer I did love this and used like crazy as you can see I already hit band I just got this in June um, but yeah it is an awesome just nudie pink perfect perfect blush so love that <clears throat> and then highlight I really need to get another Mac MSF but the one that I have and absolutely love is light scapade Got this at my CCO about a year ago, and it is just gorgeous. And as you can see, these look going to last you forever. Like, I've kind of flattened out the top of the dome, but still, I mean, <laughs> for just using this as a highlight, it's going to go far. So, yeah, if you can, get your hands on a MAC MSF, because they're just beautiful. Another really popular one is Soft and Gentle, which I would like to try. But yes, this is just a gorgeous highlight. It's the one I use almost every day, which I didn't use it before. I mean, I didn't use it today, but I just love that. So that's it for now. I'm gonna be doing my favorites for eyes and lips after this. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one very soon. Bye guys.